Hey Mutant Chronicles fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and this time it is of the brand new Kickstarter uh, exclusive Mutant Chronicles Siege of the Citadel. Um, I did a the first unboxing of the entire box already so if, um, if you didn't see that one take a look at that first where I uh, pulled out all the goodies that came in the Kickstarter box but I have not unboxed the, the core game or the two expansions yet just pulled out what was in there because it had been five years since I ordered this thing or four years I don't know but I totally forgot to be honest that it was even a, it was still even coming um, I was very doubtful so I'm um, looking forward to seeing what's in the box um, this definitely has um, kind of looks like it's not as long as the original uh, what do you call it? Mutant Chronicles, a Siege of the Citadel game from, uh, what was that, the early 90s? Late 80s, early 90s. But definitely uh, the art is kind of reminiscent of it. Uh, still, it, I don't know if they, if they went and got the same artist or if they just were trying to go for the same look. But it's, it's not bad. Um, I like the cover. And then we got on the side, Siege of the Citadel. Each to the sides, it looks like there's a piece of slightly different art. We got some of the Dark Apostles and the uh, Doom Troopers on the back. Got some info on what's in the box, picture. What's it say? Battle for the Solar System. Solar System is a roaring mayhem of death and war. The services of the inner planets have been swept clean by the violent onslaught of the Dark Legions. Their storming hordes of uh, nephrophytes, Razides, Praetorian stalkers, and undead legionnaires seeking to enslave humanity to its necrotic will. The stage is set for the final conflict as the Doom Troopers, the finest soldiers to ever stalk the battlefield, assault uh, the greatest of Dark Legion citadels, spewing foul and numberless hordes across the planets of the solar systems. Was it Alakai Citadel on Venus. Lead a legendary team of Doom Troopers allied to one of the five mega corporation, Baja's Capital, Cybertronic, Imperial, or Mish uh, Mishima. And take the fight to the Dark Legion in the exciting new edition of the classic board game with dynamic gameplay that keeps the action flowing. Now it's time to strap you on your shoulder pads, ignite your Gina pukers, and say your prayers to the Cardinal. Siege of the Citadel has begun. Uh, each game, one corporation player also assumes the role of the Dark Legion and deviously subverts the Doom Trooper's assault on the Citadel. Optional cooperative rules let the AI controlled Legion deck terrorize up the five players. Ooh, that's cool. In the original one, um, for those of you who didn't play the original one, you would take turns being the bad guy. So it's like you kind of had this, this uh, drawing mechanism where whoever uh was every game you know somebody would be the bad guy maybe just took turns or whatever but uh you still had a corporation and if you were the bad guy you've got uh xp even if you uh didn't play your corporation got money or something and because it was like a campaign system which was really cool like between that and uh hero quest the the campaign systems were were awesome um all right, so this is a heavy-duty box. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, it's been closed for five years. That's why it's not opening. Uh, no. Yeah, so anybody following this Kickstarter, man, what a, what a nightmare. Like, who knew if it was ever coming? Like, I'm sorry to say, sorry to sound sour or whatever, but I love Mutant Chronicles and the original one and uh, was super excited. But by the time... I got it. I was like, oh, wow. Really? It's actually coming out? Cool. Um, awesome. Same uh, same as the cover. <laughs> right on the back, I see some, some of the classic art from uh, the original and probably the Doom Trooper card game. So, looks like we got some contents. What's on the inside? What does this say? It's uh, 28 pages, and this is the rule book. So... Uh, right away, looks like it's got examples of how to set up. Just get right to it, and 
Looks like maybe there's a sample mission. Uh, yep, sample mission. I want to say the original one was like trial by fire in the original game. And first mission set up. I don't know if it's got a name like that, but it was pretty cool. Like, um, you would just... Sorry, I'm looking at it because uh, I haven't seen this at all. Uh, looks like it's got nice art on each of the pages, so that's pretty cool. Big floppy book, kind of reminds me of like a Fantasy Flight book. Oh, got some weapons page uh, pictures here, but you know what they do. The equipment bunker is what it says. Uh, Dark Legion reference board. Oh man, that uh, that old um, Nephrophyte or whatever it's called. Uh, some good some good memories and then the uh what is that like the Bajas trooper pretty cool all right so that was the rule book and the mission book look at this some really cool uh classic art on there um this is straight up like from the old uh mutant chronicles if not the board game the rpgs or the art of miniature war game but the art is, it still holds up. It's beautiful. Like, what do they got? Yeah, the Nephrophytes. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. But regardless, pop it open. And it looks like it's got some missions. How many, how many do we have in here? Uh, oh, thank you to all the backers. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the corporations. It looks like they're color coded. And then the thank you. So it's like there's ten missions in there, which is plenty considering all the expansions and stuff like that. Um, got some stickers. Got uh, what looks like the uh, the colored corporate figures, and then some monsters inside of. Uh, whoop! Sorry, already losing stuff. Um, let's see. Got a great band here, and what else do I got? Uh, this is looks like it is. Is an updated version of the skeleton. Um, I think they all got the same sculpt. Yeah, it's okay. It's got some soft details on there. Doesn't look too bad. Um, this looks like it is a uh, mute. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can. Mutant's not too bad. And what do we got here? Lots of different um, corporate figures. This dude's got a pretty cool uh, mohawk piece going. And there you go. Got a cape rocking in the wind and a giant Gatling gun. Got herself like a ninja. It's pretty cool. Some dynamic poses. Um, ah, this guy, he's got like a scythe, big old auto gun. And let's grab a couple more. What else do we got here? Wow. Some of these guys uh, look a little bit cooler than others. Um, but yeah, you would hope the, uh, the actual Doom Troopers were a little more detailed than the, well, you hope everything's detailed, but, uh, at least it'll be a little bit better than the, um, the skeleton warrior looking guys, since these are the characters you're going to be looking at, uh, the duration of your campaign. Um, so yeah, cool looking tray. There's more figures in there. Um, another one, of, I guess you get a second one of those scythe. Dudes, oh, but everybody's uh, favorite undead horseman of death, the easel ghoul. That's, you know, 
<laughs> this dude looks this dude looks way too awesome. The original one was just kind of like a white piece of plastic that swiveled at the hip. And uh like you love that thing, you know? It's, it's awesome. This dude looks great though. Yeah, it's cool. Um what else do we got in here? Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five. Five of these uh, character sheets where you put your corporation, uh, your, your trays, you put your, your corporation tray there, and then your, your item cards, and your promotion is what was like your, your rank XP and health for each of your characters. So five of those, the pegs that slot into them, and... Oh man, it, it brought back the uh, the white, black, and red exploding hit dice. It's pretty cool. Like uh, it's kind of easy to know if you hit something, <laughs> it's an explosion or not, you know. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at a couple of these cards. I didn't buy any sleeves, but. <laughs> Wonder if the if I sleeve them if they'll even fit back inside of the box. Looks like they're the tray. No, nah, it's pretty tight fit. Yeah, you sleeve those suckers. That's not going back in there. Um, let's see. One side looks like it's got uh, the city and the citadel city, and then on the other side looks like it's got the text. What do we got here? Uh, Praetorian Stalker Bounty. What's it say? It's a briefing. New and deadly creatures stalking the Citadel. High Command have ordered its destruction. Mission. Eliminate a Praetorian Stalker to receive additional promotion points. Okay, it looks like it's some sort of mission card. Or, uh, or optional missions. So that's pretty cool. Then, I don't know what this is, but looks like maybe it's the, the character card. One side, it's got... Doom Trooper, the other side looks like it's got the corporation they're a part of. Let's see, yeah, so got the Bajas. And I don't remember all their names. Oh, I do I do really remember liking this guy though. Like he was like from the Cybernetica. It's pretty cool. Oh man, this guy looks great. This must be some of the other, like the book or the RPG characters, Vince Diamond. Uh, Cause I don't remember him from the original game. Oh man, here was one of my favorites, Sean Gallagher, and uh, that was pretty cool. He just looked like a Highlander or something, you know. It's very cool. Murdoch got a new woman in here. Who's that? Uh, Selena Kingsfield she looks cool. Like the art looks great. I'm like, man, I want to. Can't wait to to paint them up. Um, female. Uh, what do you call it? Mishima. Oshiro, Oshiro Makiko. Man, I really feel like I, I missed out by not going into some of the expanded lore with like the uh, the miniatures game or, uh, yeah, he was in the original uh, board game, Tatsu, or the, uh, the the books or anything like that. I know I, I had the um, a lot of the card game, Doom Trooper, which was a cool collectible card game. Um, tactics cards, I'm guessing. Because it's one of them said tactics on the back or on the front. Fast reactions, initiative, honorable sacrifice. It looks like uh, there's a there's a fair bit of art. They had a bunch of RPG books, so if it's not original, they uh, they had a lot of sources to pull from. So good on them. You know, was, I love when there's art on the cards and it's just not a uh, text. Um, so, oh yeah, especially like the the item cards. What do we got here? Security report. Teleportal, it's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Upgraded Violator Sword. Nice. <laughs> this looks like the original uh, original artwork. Uh, maybe even a little downgrade to be on it. It's, uh, upgraded Deathlock Drum. There you go. Oh, yeah, the Violator Combo. That's pretty cool. The Violator and like an auto gun. Um. Some more, it looks like, what is this? I don't know. One side, it's got, and maybe these are uh, 
The Lincard Citadel radiates an electrified vibration, which energizes the Dark Legion foot soldiers. All Legionnaires may perform one extra action during a Legionnaire player turn. Yep, it's like the Legionnaire, the villain, uh, villain cards, and probably what um, what you're drawing, like uh, ran if you got to randomly put some some uh, baddies out to spawn them. We got advance guard. What do we got here? Headshots and Hackmasters. No art on this, but I think we looked at some of those earlier. Um, okay, cool. That was all very cool. Now, is that all that's in the box? Nope. Looks like we got a fair bit of, oh yeah, a bit more. Um, so tiles, a whole bunch more cards. I don't know if I'm going to open all these, considering that uh, it's looking like I got some of the same symbols again. It's looking like we got um, just more uh, item cards, more than likely. Yep. So, I think I can leave those. Look at this tray in here. That kind of looks like uh, maybe what the, the Dark Citadel will go on top of. And, oh, got baggies for all the stuff. I like that. Um, let's take a look at a couple of, what is this, got some, got some clear plastic stands for something, and let's take a look at a couple of these boards, let's see what we're getting into. But yeah, um, if you want to watch a really old video of me unboxing um, the original game, uh, it's up there on, on a very a bad, uh, my worst camera phone than the one I'm using now. Um, but yeah, it's up there. I remember rebuying it over again just so I can do an unboxing and have it again. Because I, I know I don't have my childhood one anymore, so I wanted to have it. But yeah, check this out. This is pretty cool. One side looks like it's, um, looks like there's a table or something. I don't know. It looks, looks pretty neat though. Um, got some punch outs with some of the, the clan symbols or the corporations on one. And these are probably spawning points. Um, more. More tokens. Ooh, doors look cool. That's pretty neat. And looks like it's the uh, the bad guy stat card. Um, identical thing there. Looks like another one. Same thing with some doors. Oh, this looks cool. This looks like um, we got some, some crazy, crazy tile there. Oh, you know what? I know exactly what this does. Pop this sucker out. And then when you when you got your tray, you're coming out, buddy. Like it or not. So this tray here. This let's go this way. And it goes it goes this way. So it would sit on top of that. And then you got a little elevated terrain action going on for your 3D piece. And then you usually sit the uh the Citadel go on top, so that's some fun. Um, double sided, I do like that. So you got some action on both sides. Use every every bit of the uh, of the cardboard to uh, have different levels, so that's cool. Like I was saying in, the, in my other the last unboxing video, if uh, this game sucks, at the very least you got. Some really cool uh, miniatures and terrain that you can do some homebrews in or um, a role playing. So this stuff is, uh, stuff looks really cool. Got a lot of just like twisted portals and stuff like that. So. so I've got some pretty detailed art. This looks like the last one. 
pretty nice. But yeah, um, it only took <laughs> five years. Hopefully it's good. Um, regardless, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Uh, I'll be doing the next two boxes. Um, I don't know. I might, I might do uh, two separate ones. Or if it's fast, both of them together. Who knows? I haven't figured it out yet. But thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.